My name is Doug Lindsay. I'm a Millwright instructor at MITT. Right now the students are in the process of doing one of the three main projects that they do. They do a pneumatic manifold that they can actually take home. They start that at the beginning when they have very little skills. It's mostly filing and drilling. They work up then to a, a gear puller, which they can actually use for small bearings and for seals. And then they do a plumb bob. We still use plumb bobs on the job today. The final project at the very end is they decide one thing that they want to build. They'll do a blueprint for me, I'll check it out, I okay it, then they can build that final project. The uh, school is very accommodating, allowing a lot of explanations about certain tools and equipment and specific ways to use them in a safe manner. The Millray program is unique in that we're the only place in Winnipeg that you can have it done. This is a 10-month pre-apprenticeship course, so they learn first-year apprenticeship. Basic safety, they learn uh, precision uh, uh, tooling, they also learn hand tools. They're working on lays and mills quite a bit, but on that they use blueprint. They'll be able to work in thousandths or ten thousandths of an inch. I've learned the technical parts of the use of the saws and uh, learned the hands-on part which is very nice, and then a lot of theory, and of course the safety and how to use the tools properly and in a safe manner. In the theory, we teach them all the aspects that they're gonna need for a first year apprentice, from welding, basic welding, torch. This is all part of our package. This part we can take and we can transfer over to the uh, practical side of things. The hands-on aspect is, is critical, if not more critical than the theory part of it. Uh, Doing a theory is one thing, but being able to do the actual practice in the field, that's a whole different kettle of fish. Over the past decade, as you can see behind me, these are national awards. Uh, we're up to now, there are seven showing, but the eighth medal is now coming in. To go up against Ontario, British Columbia, Alberta, Saskatchewan, Quebec, and say you're the best, that's huge. One of the best examples that we have is Travis Skrupski. Winning last year at the national level, Travis now gets a chance to represent MITT, Manitoba and Canada at the World Skills Competition in Dubai in the Millwright field. This course has prepared me for the work in the industry by enabling me to learn a significant amount of theory and hands-on training to know how to use the tools properly, general maintenance around the shop, ability to use the lathes, the milling machines, the saws, the grinding benches of course. So it enables me to bring something to the to the shop. Uh, you can work in anywhere from airports on the carousels, to conveyors at the post office, to nuclear power plants, hydroelectric stations, uh, Coca-Cola, bread plants, you name it. A mill rate is everywhere and nobody knows about us, you know. We're the doctors of industry. Without us, Nothing works. We repair, maintain uh, industrial equipment. I see myself in the future, uh, in July, graduating from this course, then hopefully becoming a journeyman. And then in, may, in the future, hopefully, I'll be able to start up my own business and be self-employed in my local community. I recommend this program to anybody, man or woman, who likes to problem solve. We have employers out there that will not hire any apprentices unless they come through us because they know they get the combination, the actual hands-on so they've touched their tools, they know what's going on and they have the theory to back it up.